Here we are. What's the date today? Today is the fourth. And uh, here we have some new new team members, Maybe Renee and Johnny. Hey, here we are. I figure we should we should maybe test it because I can you know pick what I like, but then what one relates to what else is going on. That things look at. Uh, Stuff that was yeah, sounds like, you know, but that's lighter than what's inside. Inside's typically darker. It's remarkable when you look at what they did in 1957 and how long it's lasted. Well, you take a, some of them will come off with acetone, right. razor blade, and so forth, but sooner or later you have to fill those holes with something. Conceivably, have no door. A little curtain with beads. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get right on. Today is the fourth, and uh, here we have some new new team members, Renee and right. Johnny. Hey, here we are. Renee is going to be. We're going to be taking a look at some Lamin laminates. Yes. And uh, we'll also see another cast member, Terry Beatty. So let's go in and see right, what's going on. Inside. All right, you guys go ahead. Ahoy! Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Excellent. Good to see you. I say we have to, we have to come in with the camera rolling. They brought the decision maker. The decision maker, exactly. Hi, Renee. Doug, remember Renee? Hi, nice to see you. Hi, Renee. How are you doing? Clint, Hello, Terry. Great. Our new cast member, Terry Hello, Beatty. Hello, Charles. Oh, yes. You have Captain to say, Charles. You have to say hello to the viewers out in... Hello, viewers. viewers. <laughs> the team is expanding. Exactly. You want to be on a winning team. We thought we might, you know, need to see how it relates to the well, that, teak. Any of these colors yeah. will go with almost any other color. The only thing you have to be careful with yeah. when you varnish this, which yeah. you have to. Yes. It's going to darken up a little bit. Right. So I thought we were going to try and just slap a little varnish on it just to see what the color looks like. Right. Okay. Yeah, but see, this is kind of yellow. And I just yeah. was thinking that might not go as, yeah, I saw you look at like, I don't see it. Whereas this, um, you know, kind of looks like it came from the same party. So I just was, you know, wanted to see which of these kind of, this, these look good together, I think. This might be my favorite. It has a more interesting grain. Mm -hmm. And this one looks kind of basic. Well, this in a large expanse can look busy. Oh, okay. Because of the... Yeah. Also, it looks like floor to me. Oak is kind of like, you know. <laughs> hey, your floor ended up on your wall. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, you Where's don't like this, this eucalyptus? Well, I'd love to... Hey, that's why I said let's come and take a look. See how that... It's called flaming? Yeah. yeah. It looks iridescent. Um, My only worry... Hey, let's see what it looks like once it's, I mean, I don't Sycamore, I said you could. Yeah. But this could even look great once it's um, stained. Lay it down, yeah, break out the varnish Yeah, I just figured we should, we should maybe test it, because I can, you know, pick what I like, but then what one relates to what else is yeah. going on. Not, because look at the... Yeah. Cabin, yeah. Sounds like, you know, but that's lighter than what's inside. Inside's yeah. typically darker. Well, mahogany yeah. always gets darker inside, and it bleaches in the sun. Right, and that's mahogany up there, but it's been bleached. Yeah. But this is the color that's inside, yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, when that was brand new, it was kind of a, a pink color. Well, yeah. But it, it, it takes about two, three years for mahogany to get really dark, and it is what it is. But outside, the sun will bleach it. Right. This is what we'll do. You just spread these out and we'll just throw some varnish on them. All right. Now it's clear varnish, right? So it's just yeah. like it'll getting a little wet. It, it, it'll intensify. And sometimes varnish has a little yellow in it, doesn't it? Yeah. A little bit, I mean. It does, but also it needs to be satin varnish, yes. not, not gloss. Yes. We've been getting rid of a lot of gloss. See, I'm glad you're here to answer that question. Oh, I would have yeah, been satin. Yeah. Satin all the way? Satin all the way. Yeah, see outside, you want gloss um, because it's more durable in the sunlight and other reasons. But down below, gloss is you know, it's hard on your eyeballs. Yeah. You know, even the paint. You know, should not be super it should long. Be matte, like yeah, that linoleum should be kind of more of a matte finish too. Got a screwdriver? No, oh, right there. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, I would have, I would have voted on um, 
It's sat and finished. All right, well, you're going to, they're doing you're everything not, in sat. You're not filming this thing. Yeah. Well, this is childproof. What's that? <laughs> It's a child proof. <laughs> I'm having a lot of trouble. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, even this um, will darken. Yeah. Putting a little contrast on it, yeah. I'm happy to varnish them if you need to. Uh, I love now the smell one. of paint. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I love the smell of paint. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> you didn't know I was a paint sniffer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look how much when this one's darkening. I know you like the lighter one, but it is interesting how, uh, mm -hmm. as it saturates in. Yeah, that's another thing too. When you go to, once you get everything fitted, <laughs> you want to varnish it before it goes on. Varnish it before it goes on. Right, and varnish it, one coat or two, whatever it takes to seal it, and then put it, sand it, and then put it on. Mm -hmm. That way, you're not sitting there in these little corners. Once sure, again, yeah. drips, runs, drips, airs. Yeah. We'll come back and take a look at those. See, I like the, the uh, well, flaming that they have. Cool. And I kind of felt the same way about this one. These are a little further apart. Those are a little bit closer together. Isn't this crazy? De right down to the bare bones. Well, I was telling Doug, I said, this is like looking at the bones of an old girlfriend. <laughs> but look how beautiful the, the work they've done here and all this framing is now perfect, just ready well, for the and deck. It's remarkable when you look at what they did in 1957 and how long it's lasted. They, yeah. they didn't do perfect These work. were not designed to last more than 50, 60 years, so we're right there. So, But they actually was built pretty well. Light, but well. Yep. And certainly still very beautiful. You know, her original mass was what, 40% higher? Tall, tall, right. Can you imagine if we went back to that same kind of early well, rate? Well, they had those running back stays and she was designed to be sailed with a big crew and not yeah. for cruising. Yeah, no, just a racing. racing boat. Yeah, yeah, you needed plenty of crew. But now definitely you can sail it with two or three people, which is great. Yeah, I think two, two if you have to. And the, the three better. Too bad. Three is better. Three better. So this was on this. They were all planked out here before, right? Yeah. And they're yeah. not here now, right? No, no. But those are the yellow cedar, and that's where we were talking about. Did you <laughs> want to do these bulkheads in the wood again? Well, that's what I. I would. That's kind of what I was hoping you could just do the bulkheads, so that it felt like. <laughs> But the these fact are, that you've done the yellow cedar... These bulkheads are in good shape. You don't need to redo them. Yeah, no, but, pretty... uh, but the fact that uh, you've done the yellow cedar, this might make more sense. Like, But we're talking about it. it yes, if you were going to put the wood in here, it might match the yellow cedar better. But if we're going to be matching but the wood it, in there, which is going to be the dark cabinets, right, that they're this color. There's no yellow cedar up there? Only inside the cabinets. In, okay. And also on the back sides of these cabinets, right, Clint? On the back side of the open these space. Cabinets? No, here oh, this yes, could be. Yes. And on the back side here. Yeah, in between these here, whatever whatever this is open. This can be open with ceiling planks, right? Just along here. Trimmed across there, right? But with the yellow cedar. But, but with the yellow yeah. cedar. They could conceivably be stained a different color, right? We could. Uh, could we Actually, no. Those haven't been uh, stained. Sealed. They haven't been sealed yet. They're made and sanded. But so we could we haven't done any stain those a different color oh. to keep them all consistent with the wood there instead of going right. yellow cedar to. Well, see, that's what I don't want it to get busy with yellow cedar here, white here, and then this uh, mahogany here, yeah. and then this. Uh, right. And gray. gray. Yeah. See, that looks really nice. See, Put this, that up against there. This is kind of you know this. This is what I was thinking. I think that would look really beautiful. That would warm it up without being too. Yeah, yeah. it'll Davis. still be. It'll still be dark. Hold that next to there, and I get a picture of that. Okay. Yeah, then you can see how it looks. Yeah, so let's do it up by this side there. Okay. See, this is pretty much done in here. No, I understand, but you have the you have the um, the ceiling planks, and but it, they're behind the See fascia the, right. of the of the shelf. The shelf. And the new boxes okay. there are painted uh, or soft white. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so those all going to be white, white. Yeah, yeah, to make, brighten it up. Yeah. It's, but look at this, though. Come on, look at that. Look at this. That's going to be cleaned up. We haven't even started cleaning that up. No, yet. I'm just saying, but it's still. It's we're in the same kind of. 
predicament. Yeah. He took the door off and he's going to change all that, but then you're going to be left with all this. This scarring of, down yeah. here at the bottom. Well, this is all going to be behind. No, because before it was behind yeah. the closet. Yeah. Now you have yeah. to, this is, yeah. this is now open. Can we clean this up a little bit to see the next thing. time? Or, you know, like how clean we can get it before we decide well, to like fill take, it or paint it, spend I mean, a week or two to replace this bulkhead? Well, um, actually that bulkhead, um, what were we planning on doing? Nothing, well, just cleaning it up. Well, there's going to be a door there. Yeah. Yeah, but then you see all this. Well, you take a, some of that will come off with acetone, right. razor blade and so forth. But sooner or later, you're going to have to fill those holes with something that's close to the same color of white. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of hoping we can, you know, fill them and then I don't know if you can paint it. I mean, Charlie's concerned about the paint, but I'm also thinking if you use that marine grade paint on the back there, it would just mm. kind of clean up real nice. You can, but paint and formica don't get along. Uh, do what it. if yeah. you, uh, yeah, what, you know, even you if you prime the hell out of it? Oh, you got Or scratch it. Scratch it really good with like 80 grit. Yeah. Right. Am I on TV right now? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I should. Got my best side. <laughs> That's <laughs> Renee. Going, going, That's not my best side. We don't have a good side. <laughs> we don't have a good side anymore. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for another episode. Yeah. What to do with the uh, bulkhead up here? Nothing. Just okay, clean it up. So, Doug, while Doug. we're here, you can kind of see like the the color. You know, this this one looks like it's really uh, bright. And I mean, I know we want lightness in here, but this one looks like it's always been here. It has that. Is that the right tunnel? Is that the red oak? Yeah, no, it is that's the, the no, the Enegra. We got rid of the red oak downstairs. I think this is so. So that's these the one. are the two we're we're looking at, but I'm I think we're heading towards. Let's go back into the saloon. Okay. Okay. To look at it. So, except for the bulkhead and these two little cabinets. Yeah. We are done from here forward. Yeah. She's ready to go. <laughs> She's ready to go. It's all, all the pieces are made. They just need to be put back no, in. Once the sides we are done. Are, like, we are oh. done. It's got a lot more room than it used to It's going to be a glass bottom <laughs> boat. <laughs> Doc, what did you find down there in the partners when you uh, had the mast down? Look all the way down in the... In here? Yeah. Oh, we had to build a new mast step. Okay. We'll you just, get, you got to see it, Terry. It's so beautiful. Huh? Was the old one shot? Well, it was... <laughs> It was, was multi-piece, as I recall. It was a weird from piece. The of, it was from the Mayflower. <laughs> <laughs> it was sal It was. It was salvaged off some boat that didn't fit this boat. Oh. And we had to replace some bolts down here, so when we started taking everything apart. The mast head it was in two or three chunks. Yeah. Yeah. So. If you get a chance to come and see it up close, it's a, such a pretty thing. Can we open these uh, sure. panels? Here? Sort of like that yellow cedar. Yeah. It doesn't look real. Yeah, I think yeah. Real. it's too perfect. Uh, and that one that looks even lighter. Yeah, now this. Right there. Whereas this is why I'm I'm feeling more comfortable with this one because this one looks like it'll feel like it's already been here, and that one looks like oh we redecorated and we put in nice <laughs> nice light wood, you know. Whereas this one might look like oh it's always been there. Well, I like that. Okay, yeah. well that's kind of what I'm thinking. It won't look too new. It'll look in keeping, even if it's not the lightest possibility. But it might look like uh, it was always that way. You try to keep as many through holes as you can out of the ocean. Sure, sure. More boats sink at the harbor than they do in the ocean. Okay. If something goes wrong with that valve. Right. So if it's not sitting in the water, that is the valve it's not corroding yeah. because it, it, you, uh, electrolysis can't get to it. And should anything go wrong with it, it just something went wrong with it. But how do you pump? Then you have to pump the water out. No, no. Water line's about here. Okay. So you probably have over a foot. We'll check difference that. between up here and yeah. okay. So if we, if we go this way and then out there somewhere behind the seat, yeah. You okay. see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. All right. So we'll when see. the boat's sailing through the water and you're heeled over this way, no problem. Well, <laughs> no, that sink then goes underwater. Oh, okay. That's what happened before, right? Uh, yeah. Well, you get water coming out of the sink. Yeah. When you're sailing. Yeah. Comes up through the drain. Sure, yeah, yeah. That's why you have to turn the seacock off. Right, right, right. So you want it somewhere it's easy to get to. Yeah. It's certainly not forward of the sink. Okay. So probably back in here somewhere. Right. Maybe hide behind the seats, but that's fine. Okay. And we'll put a new water fill. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. New water what? The a water fill, yeah, yeah. yeah. And all these supports here, not all of them, some are better than others. This one we accidentally sat on. It's made out of plywood. Okay. So, so those supports, those little cleats for the for the undersea. Oh, yeah. see this? It's just falling Look at apart. That. 
Yeah. yeah. So we make new supports out of real wood. We should stop getting thrown breaking. Stop breaking the boat, Doug. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. If you can break it without tools, <laughs> it needs replacement. Okay. <laughs> but these seem okay. But they're that must have been a replacement. Sometime. But even so, they don't look that good. This is stuff that we're looking at when uh, in in the Connecticut River or. Uh, yeah. Here. I mean, it's it's a while. It's a long time ago, but I, I'm pretty sure that was done in the U.S. These. Yeah. Well, could be. This is a pretty small drawer here, but it's a drawer. Oh yeah. Um, and then we're gonna move this bulkhead over about four inches. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that little notch out. Right. So and that's where a new another little refrigerator is gonna go, huh? Right. A little yes, top that's in there. We like yeah. that. We ordered that fridge. Yeah. And that uh, display screen will be here, so it can be pivoted. Yeah, we want it to be able to and pivot a little bit. And uh, radar or not radar? Um, VHF. Yeah. So this corner will be basically kind of just open. Okay. And if you had to. But you're going to keep it coming out to here, where this frame is, where your hand just was? Well, I'm thinking it, it, it doesn't matter too much because you can't get back there anyway because of the ladder. Right, exactly. But if anything, we would move it back about four or five inches. But it comes down right there. Yeah. Otherwise, just put a new top on, right? That would... Yeah. We, can, we have to re resupport this and redo it, but... Because it had a little drawer in there. Yeah, a big drawer, nice big drawer. That's yeah. where they used to keep the charts. And yeah, the but that was a great drawer. It was like this giant drawer to nowhere. Junk drawer. Junk drawer. But you see back in here how this, how were the joints come together? It's going to fall apart, I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, see. Yeah, it's all pretty nasty. In Same in here. This bulkhead. It's um. I think we can just use one big support plate. See how this bulkhead is kind of, kind of adrift. Yeah. And I think we can force some glue down in here, and then we'll just put one big, long cleat to stiffen it up. Okay. Screwed in glue. That way, it's um, it's just not all floppy. And then the hanging locker back there we'll have to redo. But um, anyway, yeah, that's that's about it. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> not, Everything. Not much to it. Um, and then let's see one other thing. I kind of like this light in here. <laughs> it makes it so bright. No. You cannot have that I light. I know, it's ugly. I'm just saying, I kind of like the... the yeah. so what, what Don't worry, when the boat's outside, it'll be bright in here. Is, oh, yeah. We just need to have like a, an array of LEDs that plugs into the LED thing, <laughs> that you hide until you're sitting here at night and you... Yeah. Shoot them up, nice. It's like nice. all pretty, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, I like little, it. Like little, uh, you know, uh, one of those... Uh, Tiffany yeah. shades and LED bulbs so they don't they're, take pictures. They're bright. And then you put it away when you try. <laughs> I mean, she's saying instead of trying to get down behind everything, could we just kind of slice out the open parts and then, be, you know, inlay? The, you look the at, it looks like it would slide right down in through here. I mean, it's like, you know, this might need to be trimmed, but it could just go right but down. But that piece was just a kind of a nasty patch here. That's going to be visible. What's that? Th this, th this piece here, right? Uh -huh. That and transition. And we may not want to have that hole there. That's the heater, right? Right, but the, it's, it used to be behind the, the closet. So uh, now the the venting probably is going to go behind all this, or at least be flush. inside behind the. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know the okay. tube isn't going to come out and go there yeah, so you through can, your cabinet. It's going to now have to be punched in through a different place. Not only that, but see now forward of the bulkhead. Yeah. The way we built it, you can sit there and put your shoes on now. Right. So that you step down into it. So you don't want to. Right. Well, I mean, it could have a vent there and just blow hot heat there, but I think ultimately. We'll get rid of it and plug it. We'll just plug it with a big donut. And, right. And then move it inside the cabinet. See, because when we build these little cabinet faces, right. mm -hmm. yeah. it's going to have a bottom shelf, right. which won't be very big, and about halfway up another shelf that's right. above that longitude. So this hole has got to go anyway. We don't want the... the we don't want well, because the we door, don't... Or door would have to open this way, but then... No, but you don't want a tube there, right? Right. No, okay. You want the door to open this way. Yeah, but then it only opens. Yeah. So we get rid of that thing. Yeah. Right. So, but then we've got another thing to then plug and another hole, thing that. And then we've got so this. now it looks like that would be a good thing to do to put the veneer Possibly. up on here, and not 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 take this whole thing off, but work around it, slide it like like you could probably you know get it right in through here. We'd have to come down at least along you know just inside of this, obviously. But let's see, that's pretty nasty there. Well, what you do though, see, you take this ring off. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we can score the Formica, wherever it's logical. Right. And you take a heat gun. And peel it off. It comes off sometimes okay. better than other places. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, you're going to get your wish, hon. Well, see, what I'm, yeah, before I thought one of the problems was, was this, that we couldn't get it. Oh, so we can, as long as we can take this off, then we can peel this back and then slip it in there and this yeah. goes back on. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what we were. The last we're going to do over there. Well, yeah. the last time we talked about it, we hadn't experimented with it yet. Right. We didn't know what kind of glue they'd use, so Clint took a heat gun, and it was... It's peeling off like it, butter? It was coming off. <laughs> Slowly, you can't just rip it off, because the plywood, the state of the plywood, you don't want to rip the layers off. So right, yeah. right. Just real easy with a heat gun. Gently. Mm -hmm. Kind of like thick wall paper. That's the only way it's going to come off. But see, don't forget, these lids are just sitting here as a workbench. Yeah. No, the lids are fine to take off, but it's the whole the framing that I don't want you guys to have to take off. That's just oh, this. a whole house of cards as well. I see what you mean. No, no, no. I think what we can do, because you got to go in two pieces, obviously. With this off, we can just slide the veneer in, I think. I think, right here. This might be a little tight, mm -hmm. but we might. Well, there's wiggle room. We might be right. able to get that. Well, especially in. once the other one's off. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yes. yes. Once cut this, this rough. Off. Yeah. Glue the, slide the veneer in and glue it, right? Yeah. Then the next day when the glue is dry, just trim the trim veneer. Trim it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, over, overshoot. Yeah. yeah. Now, that stuff is pretty flimsy, so you're going to have to kind of... Well, and you're going to do two pieces, obviously. <laughs> there will be a seam right at the top. Huh? Right in here. Yeah. Right, honey? Yeah. But I bottom. think, it, you know what, if, since you've done everything else, I kind of, you know, these are two main... This wall looks pretty good. That wall looks good. It's behind the pillows. Yeah, no, it's actually pretty clean. This one, so oh, that's, and, that's the cabinet. Yeah, but that, this one, that back this one, because the door is now gone in the closet, yeah. I think it might be nice just, and there's not, you know. Yeah, we're going to put the wooden door this, back there. Yeah, but that would be beautiful. So the door gets to come back. You do want to put a door back I in there. So, yeah. yeah, but this this door would open in, I think. Yeah, the last right. door opened out. What, what happened oh, to into the mirrored there. door? Is the mirrored, the mirrored door? door is on the closet. Oh, yeah, that's, that's history. I mean, you could have it, take it home. But I don't no, think I'm, it would fit in there, could right? We, could we, could we... Uh, uh, are they the same size? No, I'm wondering if we could just kind of, you know, cut it down and make that mirrored oh. door go... Right take there. a look at that. I don't remember that. That would be nice. Because the nice. mirror door put a lot of light in here. And, and then you put a footstep on the back side of it so yeah. people can step down because you need this footstep on the back side. Yeah, from the forward head. I'm yeah. sure the mirror doors, I think it's bigger, but uh, maybe we could bring it home and. We, we have, to have to take a look at it. You, okay. Since the door is off, you might be able to veneer it with the same shit that you're putting on the bulkhead. No, you head. want it different. You want it like whatever this was before. You might be able to take the old door that would be the same color and gotcha, vintage gotcha. and then use I that. I think that door is a lovely dark brown paint. I think it's wood. Let's I go bet take you a dollars look at to it. donuts that it's beautiful wood just like that with a mirror on it. All right. It's the only thing <laughs> I remember about this boat. <laughs> no, it had a nice handle on and it too. And the closet, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, but there's two different doors. The one that was inside the closet, which and is that, that door. And that might be the brown one, yes. But yeah. this That's one That's the brown be... one on the inside, yes. Yeah, and this, Shit brown. And this, this one... thing will have to be moved forward, of course, to catch the door. Yes. That's kind of a That's killer good. item. It is oh. a killer, trust me. <laughs> it hurts. We've, we've, oh. we've been impaled on that many a time. Uh, yeah. Maybe there's a different way to... to... Oh, there is. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, how about a magnet? Really strong magnet. Or a latch. No, I mean, really? Like a, 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 a hook. It could oh, be I just a latch good. hook. It just, it's on here with the latch hook, and you just push it in there. Yeah, that thing, mm -hmm. freaking, so, that, that's a thigh buster. A latch hook might work yep. here. Okay, all right, all let's right. take a look. I'm gonna, oh, let's see let's go take a look at that door. for the door. But All right, new project. Oh, there you go. There's another. Just add another week at least. <laughs> just add another week. Enough. What? That's two weeks. Four sheets. What's that? How many extra days is doing that? Well, you know, it's, it's all about. Okay, see this here. This has to come off. Right? Yeah, yeah. This one's broken. Okay. Okay, so you take it off. Which one's broken? Right here. Oh, it's shattered. Yeah. Take it off. Glue it back together. Yeah, yeah. This one's little piece is broken. Yeah. No, you're gonna. These are again like almost more like uh, patterns. Yeah, so anyway, you take it all off, clean it up, yeah. and it's all about how easy this Formica peels on. Yeah. Or doesn't. When are you going to attack, uh, tackle, tackle that? Well, we already, Clint already tried a section, it came out pretty easily. So when are you going to try to tackle it? Well, when we get through with this galley. Oh, okay. So After the yeah. So what we're doing is we Yeah, start. you're right, you're moving backwards. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, measuring all right well that door are we talking the, closet door well if we use that yeah there will be one immediate advantage and that is 
you won't have to step so high to get into the four peak. Okay. Because that door's considered you know, six inches longer or so. Okay, well you're saying cut the door, open the bulkhead up? Yeah, in other words, if we use that fascia, and that metal that's on there yeah. is obsolete. Is obsolete. So we're gonna have to work. So that was a ghost from this side to that. Yeah. So you imagine if you're holding this like this and you're trying to find it. Okay, so the door is too narrow. No. And it's 48 and this is uh, 43. Oh. So we would go down five inches or so. Right. Which is fine. Not bad. Because our, our, our sole is down 10 inches. Okay. Nine roughly. So you'd open up this door. Well, it would drop down here, so you wouldn't right. have to step so high to get in. This wouldn't go up change. Okay. It would become just a slightly bit uh, one inch narrower. Okay. Roughly. But if we reuse the fascia or parts of it, hmm. maybe we don't need to. Uh, well, we'll have to trim it. Line. Certainly, yeah, because it's way too long. We'll put laminate here, but then we'll have like one row of laminate. Then you have the actual uh, closet. See, it's wider there too, isn't it? Yeah, see it's 28, it was a, about 28, and here, if we cut it down to 24, okay. we'll check to see if we have enough wood to do that. Yeah. But if this comes off, and we're able to use that fascia, plus the door with the mirror, mm -hmm. then we'll have to do Redo. something here. We could yeah. conceivably have no door. A little curtain with beads. Yeah. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> fly curtain. That's I'll get right on that. <laughs> But All right. do it, whatever you do, yeah. the, the, whatever you do, the side that's in the stateroom, yes. it should have the same no veneer as the bulkheads. No anyway. The yes. same what? Veneer as the bulkheads. Hard to have. I, I do like that. Or a mirror in it. Or a mirror. Uh, yeah. so that's what I would say. Put the mirror in it. What's just put the, put the mirror in this one. Yeah. Okay, and then just mount that, just because that is a steady, a sturdier, bigger door that's already to, sized correctly for the opening. Then you'd need to get it thinner so that you could fit the mirror in there to still. Yeah, you take the veneer there. off, and you know yeah. you just get oh, a piece no, of it. Balance. See, now you're back to the, the strength issue. That's is that strong enough to handle well, a mirror? You've got about a five eighths or so. As soon as you put a quarter inch or whatever mirror in there. Yes, yes, you're so in the back row. For this, for the step. So one thought I had was that the step, instead of it being attached to the door, uh -huh. which, quite frankly, when the door was not closed properly, was a giant dangerous. Door. Yeah. Mm. So the step actually goes across the opening of the bulkhead and hinges. So you open the door, you're looking at the step, you push it up, you go underneath, the step comes back down. Now it's a right, real yeah. step in the in the mm -hmm. in the four four on both sides. Of the, it's on supported the on both sides on its own, separated from the door completely. Because quite frankly, when you come down that hatch, mm -hmm. there's only there's either you're drunk, it's raining, right. you're in a hurry, it's dark. or some combination. It is dark, or some combination of those four things. And quite frankly, coming down there in a hurry in the wet, have it after the third tequila, you need a real step. Well, it's uh, it's gonna be mostly kids. A tale of two doors. Well, see how this delaminating and everything. Yeah. yeah. No, that piece of wood has to come off. Don't even monkey around with it. We'll just take the metal off, cut a new piece. Yeah. Slap the veneer on one or both sides, and put the how about this? Up. A crazy idea. You yeah. Put put the formica on there to make, brighten it up. With how would that look? Not if you're gonna do veneer, veneer from on this the outside. Side. I kind of feel like. Okay. It's you mean do mic on the front side? Yeah. In the V birth, you mean? Because that's all shiny for Micah in the V birth. That well, what's on the back side of it now? Dark right now. It's I would, dark I would just brown. do for Micah gotta... on the V birth side, if that's, and then just do the mirror. The yeah, front. that would brighten that place up. Yeah. Were you guys near a naval base? <laughs> Somebody got a buy on some brown barracks paint. <laughs> <laughs> I think they thought that was the kind of the marine red you were talking about. Yeah. Terracotta. But the answer is we've been, we've been everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah. everywhere. He's like right about that. On. Anywhere we could get some help. So, can you help us? So can you help the, us? The, the, the uh, executive decision is we're going to make a new door. Yes. The step, as per John's. If that works. Thing. Would we keep this one here? Or are we going to remove it? Well, I, I agree. 
you might be going down the hatch and you might have left the door ajar. Yeah. See? Oh, uh, you know what? So I'm pretty sure Johnny's not going to be going down the hatch. No, I'm not going to be going down the hatch. So Terry not going to be going down the hatch. Well, let me put it this way. Sometimes you have to do what you don't normally want to do. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I'll be going through that door right there to get to that yeah. V-Birth. Yeah, whatever you can do on a sailboat to keep from hurting yourself. I, yeah, I think exactly. having the step the sailboat crossover just, gives you just, if anybody goes down, they've got somewhere to oh, stand. Well, yeah. they've, got, they've got a real step. Yeah. And it won't, if you're going through the door, what you'll see, it really needs to be oh, yeah. just below eye level so you're that right you're here. looking down. Yeah, so you look down at it. If you hit it, you hit it in your chest, not in your face. But what's it, ma what's it mounted to on the outside? Well, like cleats. Now you got cleats in the bulkhead. That's true. So, you know, so let's... You hit your head on yeah. when you're in the bunk. So Because when you're sleeping on that V-birth, your feet will be, south, be, be aft, forward. Yeah. Feet are forward. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're you're it. Yeah, I mean, it gets narrower up there. Right, but okay, that's fine. I was doing it the other well, way because I didn't like your... sleeping with my head down. Well, if you're by yourself, you can sleep either way. Right. No, but when we used to sleep in there, we, yeah, I mean, I, I liked. We when we were to together, we have our, our, our heads this way. next to the bulkhead. Yeah, it's that's because the, bulk, the berths were pretty flat. Yeah. flat. Well, they're flatter now. Before they were kind of. They kind of went like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, sorry. All right, <laughs> All right we decided to not mess with the doors. But now what's the final thought? The door is a temporarily uh, on hold. The current opening that's in there yeah. has this metal around it. Yes. Okay, when this door is on that bulkhead, this thick sticking out there. Oh yeah, they don't lay flat. Right, so if we do a door, whichever way it opens, you frame on the other side and the door goes flush into the opening. Ah, yes. like, it like with the weather stripping. That's all. Some of salvage from the old liquor locker that we yeah. were together last time you were here. Right, yeah. Oh, there they are. Um, and they'll be up in the stateroom, one opening uh, this way. Yeah. You know, they open this way. Yeah. Uh, this way. Do you want this varnish or do you want this white on the inside? What? Isn't that the inside? Isn't that the inside right it's there? The inside. Yeah, yeah, varnish. Varnish it. Okay. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. Because it's all white on the inside anyway. It's going to be. The yeah. cabinet. Yeah. 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 Okay. And then we were going to take that that tube that was sticking out, because that was right where that cabinet door was. Right? Yeah, so that's when we're going to plug that, because we're going to veneer it. Okay, now. All right. Um, and that is about it. Okay. Yeah, so these you guys were gluing last week, too, so these are all nice and yep. done. Okay, the only reason I said paint is we're trying to break the stuff up. Yeah. Right, but when the door's open. What's that? When the door's open, it'll help. Yeah, and again, these, yep, that's okay. It's such a small cabinet. Be looking in there for lots of different things. No, the location isn't that great. Yeah, for stuff. So I, that's why I think it just, you know, the just the 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 Do we have galley finish? Well, finish, yeah. We got to paint and seal and prime. And order the, we're going to order the Enegre, the. Uh, uh, where's that stuff, by the way? Where is our sample of, of wood? Got it, got it. A Allegra, whatever. Enegre. Yeah. Did you want the rest of your envelope? Of oh, that was just their sample. So, okay. sorry. Yeah, let's go yeah. back. This is the, I think the one with yeah. the red, red dot. dot on it. Okay. Uh, great to meet you. Well, uh, Thank it's you. been a pleasure. Thanks great. for your great work. Good to see you again. Thank you. All right, we're getting four right. sheets over. Four sheets. And we're thinking right now, no door. Yeah. For, and now. for now, no door. Yeah.